Guys, welcome to the sixth year Irish Easter Revision course. Um, over the next five classes, we are going to go through a serious, serious amount of content. We will approach and tackle the most important questions that I feel will come up on your Leaving Cert this year for Irish higher level. Um, what I'm going to start off with for the first two lessons is to try and get all of paper one done, which sounds absolutely bonkers, sounds a bit mad to cover a whole paper in two lessons, and it will be, will be under pressure and I'll be going you know, quite fast through the notes, but the benefit of this is with the video courses I'm actually going to get more material covered because at different stages I'm going to tell you to pause, go off and take a break for 20 minutes and come back and unpause me, whereas in a class I would have to slow it down and we would probably get less content done. So I'm going to be able to give you maybe four or five essays uh, in very good detail and then I'm going to leave you with notes on how to create your own essays very very simply and a few shortcuts and tricks I've picked up from you know doing marking over the years and working with the SEC so that's what we're gonna do I'm gonna start off today with the lag in the mock so you should be looking at your paper one notes first of all here okay the layout of your exam is very simple we've got four parts to our exam we've got the screw the veil we've got the clues tishkent we've got pop our hay and we've got pop our dough very simple, we have four elements to the Irish paper. Not many people, or not many other subjects, have that, so it's a bit of a pain for us. We've got 240 marks here, we have got 60 marks here, we have 100 here, and finally that would leave us with 200. All right, that's the breakdown of your paper. 240, 60, 100, 200. Paper two is probably the hardest part of the paper. There are four different sections. You've got your reading comprehension, your poetry, your short stories, and finally your drama we're going to cover is on trio for 200 marks. That's a lot, a lot of work. That's two comprehensions, one poem, one prose. That's five different answers for 200 marks. Where you look at for 100, it's just one essay. For the tape, we're going to look at a bit of tape. I'm actually going to do a tape with you, but it's going to be a little bit unusual that I'm just going to read through the questions. You're going to pause me. You're going to do it all on your own. And then at the end, I'll just go through the answers um, and I will give you a bit of vocab on it. I've also put two more examples of the way I do the tape into your notes. So go off, do them in your own time. You're going to have a lot of free time uh, over the next couple of weeks, I would imagine. So do them, do them properly, and I'll show you how to do that. Finally, then your screw de bail. Ironically enough, usually by the time we do these courses, the screw de bail is finished, done, finito. Now we're in an unusual position where it's not. So to spend five lessons, 75 minute lessons, and try to get the oral in is mad. You wouldn't be able to do it. You could nearly spend five days just doing oral work. So what I've done is I've actually video recorded. I've given you extra material uh, on some of the more difficult topics about the Irish oral. And I'm also going to maybe do a little video for you on how to attack the Mokini look, how to get the best out of those situations where you can bring that in. So that's what we're going to look at. They're all extra. It's probably about an hour's extra worth of content, which doesn't sound like much, but when you see the speed that we're moving at, it could be like a whole week's work or a week and a half week's work in a normal school. So that's what we're looking at today. Um, I want you to have a look, please, at page three for me of your paper one notes. Again, on page three, you've got your layout, you've got your paper one, paper two, and what I've also put in there is the timings. Now, I will go back to that on day five, but for now, just have a read through them. Make sure you're familiar with everything. On page four, you've got your five poems, you've got your five prose, and you've got your drama, which are all on paper two. So get yourself familiar. If anything there looks a little bit strange, do not panic. Pause the video, go through it, make sure you know what's going on, and then come back to me. I'll be waiting here patiently. So, paper one. An hour and 50 minutes you've got to do paper one. So where are we? Paper one. Do you need all that time? Absolutely not. You don't need all that time. So what is that actually for? So what is that for? Ideally, you go into this exam, you listen to Radio on the Gwaltukta on the way in, you plant yourself on the seat, you take 30, 40 minutes to plan your essay, and you write freely off the top of your head like you're fluent and you always have been, and you get a H1. Job's done, easy peasy, why are you looking at the video? But life doesn't work like that. So that's the way I suppose the paper is set, that you have all this time to plan and then to execute. But that's not the way it happens, is it? We're not fluent enough to go in right off the top of our heads. 
ironically, if you do that, I will find you and I will kill you because you won't do well and you've wasted your money listening to me. The best way to execute a H1 in the Irish Paper 1 is very simply practice, practice, practice the same stuff and strive for perfection in the small bits of Irish that you know. That is a horrible way to teach. That's not a way to teach a language. That is a way to get success in your exam. And I'm going to show you which ways to study in the first three essays that I've put in for you. I've given you study notes, I've given you tips, and I'm going to show you how exactly you're going to perfect your paper one stuff. It is foolproof. It's not easy. It's hard work. It's a grind, but it's well worth it when you see the marks at the, at the end of, well, whenever you get your leave insert results. I was going to say August, but who knows, whenever you get your leave insert results, it will be worth it. Paper one, you've also got your oral work as well. Let's have a read down through page five there. You've got to pause it quickly, fly down through the stuff there. I'm going to continue on. So once you unpause me, you'll see me going through it again. Um, you have loads of different options. You're going to have probably five Ashta to choose from. You're going to have five essays, and you'll probably have two Bisporach. Debate, and you might have one. So you might have five different essay titles. They won't all suit us. You might have two debates, one debate, who knows, one speech or one, you know, kind of a, I suppose, a piece of talking, we call that piece of kind to where you might have to give a speech to someone or you might have to debate, whatever that may be. We're not sure. The next question I get asked really, really often when I'm putting stuff up online or have people in class, they're like, Shane, how do you know this stuff is going to come up? It, where's the set list of essays? My teacher hasn't given me, you know, essays 1 to 12, 1 to 15, you know, which essays are there? There are no definitive list of essays. There is nothing on this course for paper one that says, if you study essays A, B, C, and D, one of them will come up. All they say is be, be familiar with current events, cursi raha. So how do we know what's going to come up? Well, there's two ways we know. One, we know when the paper is set. Because if you know when the paper is set, you know what's in the news. So that's our first trick of the day. The paper set around November. So if you didn't know that, what, you're listening to news for 12 months, it's absolutely ridiculous. Around November time, just before, just after, that's the time that we're listening for. And I'm going to tell you what was in the news, but because I was looking out for that. In the news around that time, there was three things that was dominating before this virus took over. We had things about the environment on Timpano. We had the doll and the nog, the young people came into government, all young people in secondary school, you folk around the country, and you got to go to the doll for one day to act as ministers talking about climate change. Ahu Erade. Another thing that happened is the same people got brought in the Late Late Show that night to discuss climate change. And the third thing that happened is a good friend of mine, not anymore, she owes me a bit of money, is Greta Thunberg came around and messed everything up and set up all the protests. Fair play to Greta, we don't hear much about her these days. The virus has taken over. That's one thing that was in the news, the environment. We may look at that. Another thing that was in the news, a lot was the health system, if you remember, just before the elections. What happened in the health system? Very, very simply, we had Michal Martin, the leader of Fianna Fáil, and we had Leo Varadkar, the leader of Fianna Gael, back and forward at each other, clashing at each other's throats, saying, when was the health system at its worst? Right now? Was it right now when Fianna Gael were in charge? Or was it back in the early 90s when the Celtic Tiger was there? When Fianna Fáil were in charge, they were constantly at each other's neck saying which was worse. So that was around the time your paper is set. And we can write essays about both of them. We can write about Timpanoch. We can write about Ancora Slantje. Another one. A lot of talk around that time about something else was about Technoliach, technology. Again, another one we can write about. And then there's one that always comes up. Nearly year on year, every year you can write something about. is about you. Sail on Degora, the life of a teenager. Because with all of these, your life is included. Young people worrying about the environment. You're all worried about the health system, maybe more than ever now these days. Technology, you are the generation of technology and finally the life of a teenager that's your life school alcohol drugs parties opportunities college you name it that's what your lives are 